Obviously, the team listened. Obviously, the team practiced remarkably hard. They responded to whatever message Izzo sent. But they also have to execute on the floor, and especially on the defensive end, John. I was blown away by what they did to Minnesota, completely eliminating, eliminating any of Minnesota's offensive options. We hear Tom Mizzo say things like, I've got to get these guys to play harder. I've got to get them buying into to playing harder on the defensive end, cutting harder on the offensive end. But really, what it means to a coach to play harder is not just fighting over a screen. It's actually not allowing yourself to be screened in the first place. And that's what we saw finally from this Michigan State team that has all the potential in the world, just hasn't really stepped up and answered the call. They did it. They did it with Tum Tum Nair coming back into the starting lineup. Think about freshmen, all right, defensively particularly, freshmen on the defensive end. They need to learn how to communicate. And talking and communication, or talking and communicating are two different things. Freshmen like to talk, but they don't communicate well. You bring Tom Tom Nairn back in, he's one of the best communicators that Tom Izzo's ever had, probably since Mateen Cleaves, and things start to come together. So I think the move that Tom Izzo made, bringing Tom Tom back into the starting lineup, certainly helped, but ultimately his team did respond. Well, and he made it clear, Izzo did, that Nairn was going to get the start, but it wasn't really going to change minutes for Nairn or Cassius Winston or Joshua Langford, that the minutes were going to stay the same but that Nairn was just going to give them that lift. And for all the criticism that Tum Tum has taken, and a lot of it has been heaped upon him fairly because he's not a very good shooter. He can be an offensive liability. He is a terrific leader, and he showed it last night. That's why Izzo likes him in that spot. So you can certainly argue that Minnesota was disappointing, to say the least, on Wednesday night.